Hello, hello, Prodflux back for another music and creative tutorial to help you guys get started on your music production, music, or creative journeys. Today I got a special one for you. I'm going to be showing you how to make a visualizer for your beat, your song, your playlist, your podcast, anything. Let's get into it. So Z Game Editor is a stock FL Studio plugin that you can use to make visualizers that will respond actively to your song or beat. While there's other tools online that you can use to make similar effects, Z Game Editor is super easy to use and it is very versatile. Without any further ado, I'll start showing you how to add some layers and how we can start making our own visualizer here. So for a super basic rundown, try to think of Z Game Editor similar to how you would Photoshop where everything you add is in a separate layer. Your layers are essentially right here clicking one of these adds a new layer again think of this as your different photoshop layers so each separate layer is going to have an image or an effect or some kind of responsive element that will react to your live music and you can set up these layers however you like there's tons of different options for each one let's do the first one here and let's add ourselves a background i'm going to use this website here to search for a video that we can use in the background let's just do something like space or something for now filter to videos we'll just find something kind of abstract like this that we can throw in the background you can really use whatever you want for this for the background try to use something that'll just fit your aesthetic you know if you want to use an amv or something from an anime that's totally sick i'm not going to do that in this tutorial because i don't want to violate any copyright laws if you have like a lo-fi channel you know you can do those lo-fi drawings or perhaps some kind of nature thing in the background but let's add in this video we got so how we add in all our content is this tab here we're going to click add content make sure you hit add videos since the file we got is in fact a video we're going to open it up here and you'll see that it's loaded in then we'll navigate back to our main tab here so that we can see our layers as you can see each layer right now has no effect on it so what we're going to do on our first layer here is add an image so we're going to go to image effects image and under image src image source we're going to click and we're going to choose the image that we had in this case it is a video but you're still going to choose the image option and as you can see here is the preview of our visualizer so far so we've got this kind of cool abstract background going on let's maybe change the hue of it and the saturation and maybe we can make it purple or something to fit our aesthetic so yeah you can just drag these sliders here and change some of those effects we can make it a little bit darker and there's our background so now moving on to the next layer we're going to do some kind of effect layer here to kind of make it responsive to our song and so there's a bunch of effects here that we can can use under peak effects for example polar where now if i press play you'll see it responds here to the song and so that's the effect that we're going to be using in this particular one is this polar effect i'm just going to adjust some of these here to better fit our particular visualizer for example i think we need to turn that lightness up so that it's a bit faded I think we need to turn that radius up to make it a bit bigger. That's looking good so far. Maybe have some more bands. All right, so now you can see we have a reactive video going to the music. That is probably the most important element of these visualizers. That's what really, in my opinion, sets it apart from just having a static image on the screen is when it responds to the beat like that. Well, I find another layer in here with another effect just for kind of some more movement here. Let's try some kind of particle. Maybe we can do something like a fluid. Yeah, I don't see how that really fits our beat. So let's try something else here. Uh, what else do we got? Clouds? Nah. Object arrays? Nah. So clicking around, I found this effect here, a vector scope. I think that looks pretty cool. I don't want it to be that color though. What if we do something like that? We'll add another layer here and I'll do another image and add our logo in. Same thing, just go to add content, add pictures this time. All right, so I got the Flux official logo. We're going to go back to our main tab under the image here. We're going to put on the Flux official logo. Way too big. Let's shrink it down and stick it in the middle and press play. All right, that's looking pretty sweet so far. Is there any way we can make that vector scope smaller? Yes, we sure can. All right, I'll maybe add one layer over top of everything with some kind of effect to kind of blend it all together in some kind of mood. Let's just click through all these options and see what we can find. That'd be one of my biggest suggestions here is to kind of experiment with all these different ones. Some of them have really weird names and aren't at all what you think they would be. So the only way you can really figure out what they do is by clicking on it and actually trying it. Oh, this one here is pretty good, the fog machine. We just need to turn down the lightness of it. That's way too much fog. We can turn down the thickness. We can make it a bit more transparent. 
and we could try to make it that purple color let's see how that looks i think that's purple right there okay yeah i like that could even make it a bit more prominent if we're doing the purple all right let's hit play and see what we got you could argue it's maybe even better without the polar i mean that's pretty sick Anyway, if you watched my tutorials before, you know I'll always advocate for experimenting and trying your own thing. I try to give you guys just a really quick surface overview of how to use the things. But come on, you're a creative. You can't just copy what I'm doing. Take what I do, put your own spin on it. You'll come up with your own aesthetic, your own patterns, your own kind of vibe to everything. And I really encourage you to just keep experimenting. If you haven't tuned out of the video yet though, you're in luck because I have to mention the most important thing yet. And that is once you get one of these, you can save it as a preset. So on your next visualizer, you don't have to redo all this. You just load the preset right in. I'll show you really quickly how to save the preset, how to load it up, and how we can really quickly adjust it to make a whole other visualizer. Okay, so once we're all done our visualizer here, if you wanna export it, just click export. You can export it. <laughs> okay, but once you have it exported, we're, we're gonna navigate back to the mixer panel and go on our Z Game Editor Visualizer plugin, we're gonna click the down arrow to bring up these options and save preset as. Now we're just gonna call this one Flux Tutorial. Now just to show you how this all works, I'm gonna completely close down FL Studio. Bam, no save. Okay, to show you how quick this is, I have a brand new instance of FL Studio. We're gonna drag in another new beat we just made. We're gonna go here, add in our Z Game Visualizer Editor plugin. Up here on the Presets tab, oh, look at that, Flux Tutorial, we just made that. And up pops this. Now all we gotta do is come in here, change this, hue and saturation a little bit and look at that we have a whole new visualizer export that one and now we made two ba -ba -ba -ba. you can change the background out change the colors out change the effects out and just keep making new visualizers based on that same template and not only will that help you save time but it'll help your channel look way more consistent in terms of aesthetic thank you all so much for watching again i try to give you guys basic tips and tricks so that you can get started on your music and creative journeys i try to give you as much detail as possible without dragging things on so that being said thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe to my channel and come back for future tutorials. Thanks guys.